Good day everyone. Today's presentation is on ETAP GIS and mainly on how to utilize ETAP GIS to better design, analyze, and expand transmission and distribution networks. Now we can talk about some of the design and analysis tools that are supported. The next analysis type is protection and coordination of the ability of uh, being able to do a sequence of operation for arcing fault and as well as bolted fault. You could see over from the animated uh, one line display that you could specify a location where to place a fault, whether it is a single line to ground or whether it's a line to line or a three phase bolted fault. You could place the, the sequence of operation indicator or that little lightning bolt and ETAB would provide in graphically the sequence of events. Here we see a fault, the first device to trip, then it will show the second device to trip, and in the rare event that those two devices uh, were to fail, right, you could see the, the sequence of events. Also following the protection and coordination is the ability to do arc flash, right, especially on some of these locations that are above, well above the 15 kV, which falls outside the IEEE 1584. The ETAP's high voltage Arc flash module is called Arc Fault, and it provides the ability to do line to ground arc faults on locations that would be outside of the IEEE 1584 standard, so typically locations that are above 15 kV. It also provides the ability to do a three phase open air and in, clo in enclosed equipment, again, of course, above 15 kV, and co it's compliant with OSHA 1910.264 Appendix E. Um, simulation, you could perform a simulation of arc current, voltage, and protective device uh, operation for line to ground, line to line, and line to line to line arc faults. Working distance and clearances with transient over voltage. Here is a quick demonstration of the uh, sequence of operation for the high voltage uh, uh, arc flash module. You would see that um, uh, you as the user can perform a sequence of operation, a quick simulation, and ETAP would provide uh, not just with a graphical view, but also it'll provide you with a comprehensive uh, text report. Um, this system here um, definitely falls outside of the IEEE 1584 standard. Uh, all of these locations are well above 15 kV, and with this particular module you get to you would be able to perform high voltage arc flash on those locations thank you everyone for attending this presentation